Okay, let's go, baby. And we're off. How weird does this feel? So it's day 24 here in uh, self-isolation and I'm actually been editing um, a video when we arrived in Turkey and it's got so much food in it that I can't take it anymore. I have to go and cook some eggs and toast for breakfast because it makes you really hungry looking at all this food. Mmm, delicious. That's better. So we're just <laughs> relaxing here at the table, doing some work, catching up with some social media, and some gentlemen have turned up with a gift from this locality. Is it the it's municipality? Party yes. The Fatih municipality. Oh, yeah. The Fatih yeah. municipality. <laughs> As we've said before many times, our neighbours are fabulous, and we're posting <laughs> that on Instagram. But these two gentlemen who we haven't met before, so Teşekkür Edirim, which is thank you in Turkish, very kind. Thank you. Yes. Oh wow, that's why your English is so good. <laughs> I just can't believe how nice everybody is. And Marianne's now feeling a little bit emotion. <laughs> I am actually because... Everybody's just so nice, aren't they? Yeah, we, do, we don't need anything. We're absolutely fine. We've got everything we need, but people just keep coming. And we're blown away by the kindness. And with their masks and the social distancing's all good, but it's like I've got him grinning at me from the balcony just with friendship. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so yeah, we are, we are super lucky. I genuinely cannot believe how kind these guys are. Look, we got bread, we got a couple of cans of tuna, we got some sausages, two things of black and green olives, super noodles. I'm not sure what that is, but it looks sweet and naughty. A jar of honey and two packs of cheese. Honestly, I am blown away. And that's a gift from the municipality, the Fatty municipality, the region here in Istanbul. You know, you, you wouldn't get that in every country in the world, you know? I mean, if people were stuck back home, you know, you'd like to think that people would do this for them as well. Yeah. And uh, so it's a time of just being nice to people and spreading that, that kindness, you know? So, big up Turkey. Yeah. We are overwhelmed, aren't we? We are overwhelmed. You made my wife cry. Teşekkür <laughs> ederim. Uh, as some of you know, this isolation malarkey is very frustrating and it could be really, really stressful and tense here actually if we didn't have you guys. We have been so, so lucky to have so much information, feedback, comments, um, editing the videos and putting them up. Chris has spent so much time. But we've been really struggling with the internet because obviously, as you know, uh, we have a Wi-Fi system on board and we buy SIM cards. So we've just received a little package and I'm gonna leave it to Christopher to tell you about his new toy. One of the problems we've been having is that with the SIM cards we're buying, um, a number of the SIM mobile shops are closed at the moment and we're not really going out and we've really struggled our internet's i think we've probably exceeded the data usage it's really slowing down and uh, it was getting to the point where we really couldn't um, we were wasting so much time and, and getting so frustrated trying to connect with everybody and uh, this company rent and connect they um, reached out to us and said hey we offer um, mobile hotspots it's a worldwide thing and uh, they said we'll send you one and uh, you can use it so I am super 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 grateful to this company for helping us out 
Yeah, so without this, we may not have been able to keep in contact with you. So we're super excited to get this in the post today. And let's see. Renton Connect mobile hotspot. So this means that we can just get mobile on the go. It's unlimited um, for use here in Turkey. This is one specifically for Turkey, uh, but they do also do them globally, um, which would be an absolute godsend because it means every time we cross a border, we wouldn't have to go and search for SIM cards. So we're really excited to hook up with this company um, who is gonna, who's supporting us. So thanks very much, it looks very cool. We'll, uh, we'll get it set up and then we'll be able to keep in touch with you. And they've also offered um, all Tread the Globe followers a 30% discount during the um, pandemic situation worldwide. So if you are traveling, if you're struggling with the internet during these tough times, uh, we'll put a link below. Um, if you quote Tread the Globe, then they will give you a discount. Good job. Um, being in self-isolation in Istanbul here in Turkey for we don't know how long. It could be one week, it could be one month, it could be six months, who knows. But they've, um, the company has offered us um, complimentary internet for our duration of our stay in Turkey um, and possibly beyond. So honestly guys, thank you very much for enabling us to keep in contact with all the Tread the Globe followers. And uh, if you two are um, looking for internet during these tricky times, it's a worldwide company, like I said, and uh, could be the perfect solution for you. Day 30 in self-isolation here in Istanbul. And we're not going crazy at all. <laughs> uh, we've actually lost complete track of days. Yeah. And they, they all sort of blend they do. into one. But we've been keeping ourselves busy, as you know, doing the editing and picking up the camera um, here and there. In fact, I can see dirt on the lens. Bear with me a second. <laughs> And uh, we just, uh, the guys that run uh, this place just came over and said, there's another film crew here to see you. So just when we thought it was all slowing down and stopping, there's still media attention. Um, and I'm not even sure who they are actually. And I think it's an American, did he say who it was? Yeah, he said it was an American uh, channel based here in Turkey. I'm practicing my Turkish now. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. It's not good. I've got my school work. I've got <laughs> it's my getting better. How many words do you have now? I can say how are you, and I can say good morning, good afternoon, thank you. And that's okay, right. most important. Shower. <laughs> it's been good. We've um this actually we today is day 30 of our self-isolation. So we've been here for uh probably we worked 10 We arrived, months. was it the tenth of March, 10th of March, 11th so, of March. Yeah, so we've 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 been here just over 30 days, so 35 days probably, yeah. 34 days. Oh, that was another good interview, and uh, it's great because it keeps us busy and keeps us entertained. And uh, I think they're just really excited to be talking to people that are still happy and positive, even though the situation's um, a little bit crazy in the world. Um, so yeah, good job. It's a Friday here in Turkey and they've actually, um, they're doing a lockdown again this weekend. So from midnight tonight, Friday, till midnight on Sunday, um, pretty well everything is closed and nobody is allowed out, um, which is a, probably a really good way of doing it. So during the week, people yeah. socially distance and go about their normal working day but um, there are a lot of people staying at home and it's very quiet. Um, but then at weekend when the weather is nice, it stops that temptation of everybody going out if there is a, like a full lockdown. Um, so yeah, so that's really, I think that's really good. And also today we got an email from Malaysian Airlines. Oh yeah. Because you know we were supposed to be um, in Malaysia in August and my niece was flying out to see us. Well, we heard today that Malaysian Airlines has canceled 
the flight in August, which is a little bit concerning because it is in August and we're only in the middle of April. So maybe, you know, they're expecting in there to be no flights until August. So uh, yeah, we live in hope that we will be able to move on, but we're taking it one day at a time. But when you start thinking about August and things like that, um, yeah, You're gonna it's be a having long... your birthday in a car park. I'm 50 in August. I can't have a party <laughs> in a car park. Why not? We're surrounded by <laughs> lovely people. It's and true. And we have for a birthday cake. And hopefully we don't have to social distance, otherwise it will be a very antisocial birthday. But hey, everybody's got birthdays this year, so. Yeah. So during these crazy times, we thought it might be interesting for everybody to see what our friends are doing around the world. So we're going to include in each video just a very short clip of the stories of some of our friends dotted around the world and the first one, we're sending you to Germany. Hi, we're Nile and Timo from Germany. And we met Chris and Marianne a few years ago when we did a work and travel through the UK. And we stayed with them for a while. And first they were just a host and now they're friends of us. They visited us in Germany. That's how we met. Um, how did the coronavirus affect our daily lives? Um, it's quite different. I'm still able to work, I work in a residential group, I have to work and I'm quite happy that I can work and have got my daily routine. Um, for Timo it's quite different, he can't work because he's working at a cafe and all the cafes and bars are closed right now, so he stays at home. Unfortunately the social life is quite limited right now because of the safety restrictions here in Germany but luckily we can meet one person at a time um, when we mind the safety distance. Um, yeah, in other cases we just write a lot of WhatsApp messages. Because Timo has got plenty of time right now, he's building a sofa for the balcony. <laughs> We started growing tomatoes and he was taking care of them every day. So how do we keep ourselves busy during these crazy times? Um, Timo keeps himself busy with playing video games day and night. We were just joking, but he enjoys playing video games right now quite a lot. Okay everybody, stay positive in this crazy curious times, stay safe. Um, keep in mind that things would change again and that we all can travel and explore the world. So it's day 35 self-isolating here in Istanbul and we're up to something a little bit exciting, a little bit unusual today. We're taking Trudy out. Yeah, that's it. We are leaving our car park. Yes, we are, but we're not breaking any rules. No, we're not breaking any rules. No rules. So we've had a bit of fun. We're trying to get the van back to some sort of drivable state. So everything's gone on the bed behind Marianne there <laughs> and uh, we're trying to we're trying to clear the window sills and uh, the front because we've been dumping everything in the front and piling it up because we haven't moved oh, actually we haven't moved for must be 40 plus days now yeah and all the stuff that we've been dumping up the front is actually our clothes which was ordinarily in the wardrobe, in the wardrobe yeah and we've used that area to get dry stores and food so we've put everything in bags and been dumping it up the front but obviously i need to be able to reach the pedals <laughs> so yeah we're gonna go and uh have a chat to the guys here and uh see if we can get him to open the gate and take the barriers down and then we'll show you our exciting destination today we're li literally living it up we are oh we've got to remember to uh, 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 unplug the electric yeah and move the step so i don't and run move it over. the step so we don't run it over okay steps coming in oh this is our aloe vera plant uh, you're bringing that in too then no i'm leaving it on our table this was a gift are we from coming back neighbor. <laughs> we might come back Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go, baby. And we're off. How weird does this feel? 
So it actually feels really strange to be driving. The roads aren't too busy today, but it is, uh, what day is it today? Wednesday. Wednesday. So everybody's working if they're not staying at home. It feels very odd driving actually. It feels very strange driving. So let's see today if we can actually, last time we were out on these roads, we got lost for hours, literally hours. We literally did. So uh, hopefully today we can uh, find our way to where we need to go. So the exciting thing today is we are filling up with LPG gas so we can carry on cooking in the van whilst we're self-isolating. Um, we're also going to fill up with diesel while we're here. Can you close your window? Although we don't really need... Um, do we need diesel? No. I don't think we need diesel, we'll just get LPG. And Marianne is taking all the necessary precautions. She's got her mask on, we've got rubber gloves ready. Yeah, the guys actually where we've been staying. And actually, I'll probably shall I pay in cash everything? so it's easier. Yeah. Actually, no. Let me just use my card because then I can alcohol wipe it. I've got wipes in that okay. bag. Okay. Okay. Actually, then it saves the cash. Yeah. Okay. And good I've job. Got wipes. They gave us alcohol wipes, masks, gloves. So that's the highlight of our day. And is it actually the highlight of our oh, month? No, it's still morning, so I still have it's to say It's the highlight of our, of our month. It really is. Yeah, it's been very strange. Um, yeah, 40 plus days we haven't driven Trudy and it feels actually quite strange to be going out, doesn't it? It really does. Yeah, I think they say after about three weeks you get something becomes normal, it becomes a habit. Um, so we haven't been going out for so long that actually going out now feels quite strange. Yeah, although I am going to make up a t-shirt that says I'm going to start hugging you it so much that it's going to become awkward. <laughs> um, so get watch ready out. for the weirdness. Watch out, I'm coming in for a hug. Yeah, it's going to get awkward. Yeah, it's going to get awkward. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so that was uh, one of the only things really being uh, in the car park self-isolating that we were um, getting a bit low on was the gas for cooking. Um, we've been using it only for cooking and it's lasted really well. It's lasted from before we arrived in Istanbul. So yeah, so it's a real relief to find uh, this station with gas and it's literally no word of a lie two minutes three minutes drive down the down the main road um so hopefully we can find our way back because we have to go around a one-way system to to get back to where we are that was all good all good there you go we're all filled up all is good now we need to just go back to our little parking spot i just need to do my thing you're just going to wipe everything down with your antibacterial wipes yeah i'm just going to start with that because i just touched that it's very it's very tricky isn't it because you know that it's impossible to do it all but you just have to try and do your best really don't you yeah and then and just wipe down everything you can that can go back in there oh i just dropped it on the floor yeah. let me just get rid of those so i'm not touching everything else that's it and then we can sort it all out when we go back yeah i just love these little motorbikes how loaded up they are And they're still working, clear my side. They're still working on the, uh, all the recycling and everything. Okay, so now we'll try and find our way back. We've got to go back on the one way system. So we've got to make sure we stay on this side, not that side, because that side goes under the tunnel, which is told and I don't think it takes height restrictions. Uh, that's the wrong lane, it's that one. <laughs> oh yeah, because we're going there, aren't we? Yeah. There's a camp spot! 
Yeah. yeah. There's the camp spot. We took the. <laughs> we done it again. <laughs> we came off one stop too early. So that's where oh. we're staying. But I can we... see it. This is a deja vu. You can see it, but I can't get to it. But at least we know what we're doing now. It's actually quite interesting going around, although we've taken a wrong turn. These are the roads that we, we came up to the cash point um, last week. Actually, it's looking a lot busier. It is. It's really. And I know uh, Turkey has actually done, um, they're restricting, they're doing a full lockdown at weekends and restricting movements um, for under 20s and over 65s. Um, but these queues, you can see uh, the big queues, which are for the banks. Um, so yeah, it's quite it's quite interesting to see the uh, the difference. So we managed to get lost going one junction down the road uh, because all of the lanes are all one way and they send you off in different directions through the city. But we managed to U-turn and we are heading back in the right direction. Uh, which will put us back and then we just need to do the uh, the loop again Right, it's looking familiar again So I think We need to go straight and then you start the loop again okay. I feel like I should just horn as well Oh, he's horn as well Uh, it's not very quiet today. I thought it was going to be really quiet, otherwise I'd have gone early in the morning. I can see the sea! Oh, that's so lovely. Is that, 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 that is the Asian part of Istanbul, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's Asia, the other oh. side. So these, after these rings, we need to do a U-turn and go back the other way. I want to stay by the sea, actually. Can we just go to the sea for a minute? The sea's nice. The sea does look nice. All the way around. Yeah. And then you want to get in the right lane again. That's it. So we're opposite the boat. So the turning's just coming up. Don't where the miss it. Are. Where the minibuses are. There. Yeah. So Perfect. for those of you that want to find this parking spot, just before the tunnel, up opposite the, the boat, after the bus stop, this is the turning. It's not signposted, but this is the way you come in. This is home sweet home. And we've made it back. And they're gonna wonder where the hell we got to. Because <laughs> we've done a nice big detour around the city again. It's probably been pretty good to give Trudy a little run anyway. And uh, that's it. Home sweet home. Oh, our neighbor misses us. <laughs> He's like, where is it? We went to get gas. <laughs> Don't worry, we're still here. <laughs> Day 36 in self-isolation. <laughs> and actually, it looks very early in the morning because it's dark and Marianne's still in bed, but actually it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> but you know what? Because there's a lockdown, there's no cars, so it was really quiet, wasn't it? Yeah, actually, we woke up. We woke up this morning. I made coffee in bed, and uh, Marianne was like, "Why is it so quiet this morning?" Yeah, what? Time I actually had it? a really bad night's sleep. There was dogs barking, and yeah, I had we had some some strange, strange dreams. But um, Marianne was like, "Why is it so quiet?" What time is and it? I, it's really quiet. And I just listened. Listen. All you can hear is birds. I can't even hear a car. Do you know, I can actually hear the electric buzzing now this yeah. morning. But there is, like I, you've seen before, we're parked next to the, one of the main roads that goes around Istanbul. There's no cars. So we were like, why is there no cars? And the sound of the birds. So Christmas there's a number of reasons. Years. I went online and they've started a four day curfew lockdown. Uh, but apparently you are allowed out today and tomorrow between nine and two to go to the supermarket, which mm -hmm. we were planning to do today to get some more food anyway. Yeah. But it's also a national holiday. 
Children's Day yeah. and a couple of other things. But it's funny that you don't actually hear because we're not watching the news daily. Mm. We we no, we do we Google the Turkish news and there's like it's translated in English. So we see. Yeah, and there's I a looked, really good online newspaper actually, isn't there? There's in a English? couple yeah, there's a couple of them. And I looked last night and there wasn't really any news. And then I looked this morning, it says there's a four day curfew already from from now until yeah. Monday. So We must have missed that one. <laughs> so it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So they're extending the lockdown here, um, obviously because, I don't know, maybe the situation, the, the cases are going up. So we're going to try and get up and go to the supermarket and buy some cheese and bits and pieces for the weekend. I'm going to try and get up, but my bed loves me. Marianne's becoming a sloth. I love my bed. <laughs> Time to get up. Mm. We're going to go back to our corner shop, see what happens. We'll see you after we've been. So we've been out, we've done a little bit of shopping and uh, we have come back to Trudy and it was really, really quiet out there today. I think it's made us realise that when we went out to get gas yesterday, uh, when it looked really busy, it was probably because uh, the public heard about the four day lockdown this weekend as opposed to the two day lockdown and they're all going out, going to the cash points, the banks, the shops, just to get what they what they needed um, because it was definitely very quiet out there today um, so yeah so we're all ready another four days uh, of proper lockdown now and uh, just chilling here in the car park in Istanbul you doing love <laughs> just doing comments actually keeping yourself busy yeah we've had more comments on offers of help and also your talk about oh the camera's on uh, your talk about the um, live chat, you put a poll saying <laughs> um, did you, you can join us on our live chat or, well, no, you have a choice. Will you join us on the live chat? Yes, or, it's the highlight of my weekend. Or will you be... Or no. Oh, yes, that was it. Yeah, or no, I'd prefer to watch, watch the, the government, government briefings. And there's a guy who's just messaged called, I think he, hang on, where is it? He's called Carl and he said... If he's still sober, he would love to join us. <laughs> <laughs> when this whole thing started, Chris went into, we have to be really like prepper survivor mode. So got lots of flour to make uh, yeah. bread and rice and pasta and everything. But as the weeks have gone on, because we've been here over a month, I said to him, actually, why can't we buy a couple of packets of, you know, Haribo or maybe some crisps and a couple of cans of beer? Let's just let's just live life. We we haven't gone into well, the you need apocalypse. you need a little naughty treat once in a while, so we treat ourselves. So we just Big we've treat. stocked up when we went out. We bought essentials like eggs and bread and stuff. But let me show you the naughty cupboard. <laughs> no, it's Marianne's naughty cupboard. <laughs> the naughty cupboard. Coffee, chocolate crisps and then these things are a bit like the old wagon wheels that you used to get in England oh they're good and they're very good and yeah. there's a few crisps stashed in the corner so yeah so we're, we're sorted for the weekend movie night yeah. we got chocolate crisps and a few cans of beer and if the zombie apocalypse apo I can't say that word if the zombie apocalypse happens we're prepared we are prepared for it we're gonna throw wagon wheels at we're them. gonna be hyper we're gonna be <laughs> We'll be able to run around and just throw empty packets of wagon wheels at them. There you go. That's my plan for the zombie apocalypse. So it's another, we're going to keep ourselves busy making videos and the weather is just starting to brighten up today, which is great because it's supposed to be nice yeah. the weekend. It's going to be nice next week, isn't it? I think. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Back to the comments. It's lunchtime and my little kitty's turned up. Who's arrived at the door? Hello. Is mummy going to get you a bit of tuna? We've got an open can of tuna, which is just for you. Mm. Don't be so nervous. It's, it's just getting used to us. <laughs> and the cat's very happy. The cat is very happy. <laughs> Go on. Go on. Good girl. Is that nice? Nah. Oh, Marianne, the dog lady of, of Turkey. <laughs> mm. 
So these are the tags in the ears hey? for the community dogs. They've all got these little tags. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? They're com you doing? communal pets. What are you doing? What are you doing? And this one's very naughty. <laughs> very naughty. <laughs> so today is actually the 23rd of April. And here in Turkey, it's a special day. It is Children's Day and it was formed on the 23rd of April back in 1920 when Ataturk actually created Parliament. And uh, every year at um, 9 p.m. they're going to they sing the national anthem. So we're expecting, although it's lockdown here in Turkey today, we're expecting that maybe people will sing out of the windows or on their balconies in the flats and houses behind us. So uh, we're going to come back out at nine o'clock to see whether or not we can hear any singing. So it's literally about one minute to nine and we've come outside and we're expecting the balconies and houses behind us to burst into action and uh, start singing any minute. I can see people starting to come out on, our on their balconies. We've actually got the Marianne's being very patriotic to Turkey and she's put the Turkish flag that we were given on the windscreen. <laughs> and there's people in the hotel waving. All in lockdown tonight. I can hear fireworks going off. The national anthem starting. And I've got the flag waving on the balcony. There's <laughs> our neighbour. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> they're waving at the hotel. And uh, our neighbour on the bottom and on the top. Yay, and our neighbour's over here. <laughs> That's the national anthem playing. How lovely, how patriotic. Children's Day here in Turkey. <laughs> in self-isolation, day 36. I don't know whether the camera will pick it up, but you can see people all the way along. Whoa! <laughs> There you go, that's the highlight of our day. <laughs> Look at Trudy, <laughs> Trudy there. With her. <laughs> How are you? Good. Very good. They should call it in. All the guys in the hotel in self isolation. Yo! <laughs> Oh, now you can hear the big one. <laughs> He's got the boats doing their thing. It's our little thank you to Turkey because they've adopted us. There you go. <laughs> I'm not letting her in. No chance. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, okay. So petrol station. Pet, 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 pump. Pompa, 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 pompa. Pump, pump. Yeah. 